Hello, welcome to Khan Sir classes. I am Dr. Tio Khan, Associate Professor and Head Department of Botany, Sri Krishan Sharda College, Hyla Welcome, welcome you all in my class. I would like today I would like to deliver a lecture on cell biology and the class on cell biology. Uh, it is first year syllabus. In it is first year, uh, we have a there is a cell biology and in cell biology we would like to discuss today what is cell, the structure of the cell, different types of cell. In these three questions, I would like to answer all the different aspects of the cell. Now, what is cell biology? Cell. The study of cell is called cell biology. As you know that every living individual from bacteria to elephants, all living organisms are made up of cell or a single cell or a multiple cells. So the cell, the discovery of cell is a remarkable discovery in the history of science as because the, the first living structure of a cell has been observed by Anton von Leeuwenhoek by his own uh, microscope. But as um, the, 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 suddenly this discovery has not been completed until and unless with a specific structure. That structure has been discovered by Robert Hooke in the year 1666. Robert Hooke in the year, that is Robert Hooke, Robert Hooke, Robert Hooke in the year 1666 discovered the cell. By his um, own microscope from the dry cock tissue, but a the discovery of cell is not completed as much as the entire structure of the cell has not been uh, completely and that is explained by the, the scientist. So, with the discovery of the cell, uh, the, the, the cell has revolutionized the structure of cell biology and we are able to know the different important until and unless we know the internal structure of the cell, we cannot completely say it is a cell. So, in 1831, uh, Robert Brown discovered the nucleus, Robert Brown, Robert Brown discovered nucleus within the cell. So this cell uh, is the structure which is, has been discovered much after the discovery of the cell by the Robert Hook. And this cell is uh, very important to know the structure of a living organisms. Dutrochek, another scientist, Dutrochek, who stated that all living body made up of the cells and the tissue of all living body made up of its cells. So, in what is tissue? Tissue of collection, tissue considered as a collection of cells. You will find these cells are made up of uh, tissue and tissue ultimately from the tissue system and from tissue system to the organ, then organ to organ systems. I would like to draw what the importance of the result. You will find the cell, cells forms the, this is called tissue and then tissue form the tissue system a tissue system, tissue system, tissue system form the organ, organ, organ form the organ system, organ system, organ system form the individual, just for the individual, individual, the individual that there is will find the population, you will find the population, then you can form the uh, community. You can the community, then you can form the ecosystem. So this is what it, then you will find the biosphere. That is called then the ecosystem, then you will find the biosphere. This is the structure of the all. So this is how the entire the circle, entire circle of life has been struck, started from cells. Then and the cells are made up of different types of molecules. You will find uh, two different types of molecules, some micromolecules and some macromolecules. These micromolecules and macromolecules together form this cell and these molecules are called biomolecules. Yes, because these are biological and they are responsible for the for a, stru for a structure of a living structure. That structure is considered as the cell and the cell is made up of with these different types of molecules. Thereafter, we can discuss about the different components of cell. Now you see, in the year 1835, Dujardin, who stated that living cells contain some liquid substance, but it has not, he has not been able to name the living substance. In the year 1839, the Purkinji, uh, who coined the term protoplasm, and protoplasm is the living substance which is found inside the cell. 
So chronologically, if you would like to see from Robert Hooke to Robert Brown, then Dujardin, Lutrochip, Parkendi, there have been there is one or another discovery is continuously going on. In the year, there is a 1839, it is Ganges, Naden, and Tichuan, the post in the cell theory is the important theory which explains the differentiated components of the cell. Now, there are three, there is a aspect, three important objectives for three important characteristics of the cell theory. One is called each and every living, living organisms are made up of cell and the other and other products of cells and other products of cells. Number two, cells are the functional unit of life. And number three, the uh, important uh, characteristics of cell theory, every cell originates from a living, uh, there is a pre, uh, pre structure, pre existing structure. Every cell originates from pre existing cell structure. Um, so, this is the, this, this is the, these are the three important aspects of the cell theory. Now, based on this cell theory, different uh, there is, uh, propositions have been come and uh, a number of uh, there is a scientist working on the cell theory. We find that the, each and every living body is made up of a cell. The concept has been there is a, uh, has been continuously there is a improving over the period of time. Now, uh, what is considered as the uh, different uh, there is structure of the cell. Now I would like to discuss much about the structure of the cell. So, if you would like to say structure of the cell, we will find that in, in, uh, there, is, there are two different types of cells based on their origin. One is called prokaryotic cell, and another one is called eukaryotic cell. So this is two types of cells prokaryotic cell, there is a prokaryotic cell, karyotic cell, and eukaryotic cell it based on their origin. Eukaryotic cell. Now, what, is the, what are these? Prokaryotic cells pro means primitive, carrier, carrier means nucleus, and cell means cells a living structure. Where inside the living structure you will find a primitive type of cell. Now, what is the primitive type of cell? What is the characteristics of the primitive type of cell? That means a cell which is not completed or with all its component. So, most important component is the nucleus. Where you will not find the true nucleus, you will find M, and there is a without a nuclear membrane in a structure, a nucleus or M. Uh, there is a, uh, a primitive type of nucleus you will find which lacks nuclear membrane or other components. So that type of nucleus is called the prokaryon or it is called primitive nucleus. So these type of nucleus are found generally, these type of cells are found in bacteria, cyanobacteria, then you will find primitive organisms. So this type of, uh, you will find this type of cells are there in this type of organisms. Generally, Monerans, there is a, it's called it is bacterians or cyanobacterians, these type of organisms are made up of single cells and they are prokaryotic in nature. In eukaryotic cells, all higher living plants and higher living animals are considered as eukaryotic organisms. And where you will find a complete development of the cell which contains all the important structures of the cell. Say a true nucleus is there, all components like him, other living components and of the cells are also available in this type of and there is a cells. In animal cell, you will find it a uh, true nucleus is there, you will find protoplasm is there, you will find that uh, protoplasm is divided into two parts and called ectoplasm and then endoplasm and there is a ectoplasm. Now here in protoplasm, protoplasm is divided into two parts, one is called cytoplasm, another one is called there is a um, you know, nucleoplasm. So in nucleoplasm, you will find the nucleus is is located inside the nucleus and inside the, the living materials inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm. And the, and the living substance which is found inside the cell minus the nucleus is called the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm again divided into two parts, ectoplasm and endoplasm. In endoplasm, all the other components of the cells are found. Say uh, the important the, uh, there is components like mitochondria, 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 then you will find Golgi body. Golgi body, there is a then when Golgi body, then you will find a um, it is called in endoplasmic reticulum, then you will find in ribosomes, then lysosomes, all these structures, this, the, all the structures of the cells are found in the endoplasm. Now, if we, if we, there is a differentiation between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell, the differences are in prokaryotic cell, you will find. Lack of two nucleus. Then you will find this all cell, 
its components, cell groups, cell group organelles, which are found in any eukaryotic cell. Say mitochondria, Golgi body, the other one is Coulomb. These are absent in the prokaryotic cell, but these things are present in eukaryotic cell. In in the prokaryotic cell, you will find 70s type of ribosomes. Uh, but in eukaryotic cell, you will find 80s type of ribosomes. Prokaryotic cells are unicellular. There is a single cell. Eukaryotic cells are multicellular. Or the structure is very well defined structure. And in the living, the, the prokaryotic cells are and there is a much smaller in size than the eukaryotic cell. And in prokaryotic cells, the dynamic, um, the dynamic uh, divides by the method of uh, as there is some fragmentation or by uh, budding or by some other methods. But eukaryotic cells in, divides in by mitosis, meiotic cell division. This These eukaryotic cells are again found in two different types of mitotic cells and germ cells. So that I will explain later. So that all about the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells. But in, um, the, this, is the, this is the main uh, differences between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Cell. After discussing the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell, now we have to discuss about the structure of cell. Now a prokaryotic cell, what is the structure of the prokaryotic cell? And I have drawn a structure of a bacterial cell because bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. Now in this bacteria you will find it, this is the structure, this is the, this is the, this is the living structure of the cell. And this is the membrane, membrane. And inside the membrane you will find the nucleus, that is this nucleus. As because in prokaryotic cell there is no true nucleus, so this is considered as the, uh, the DNA molecules, this is called the DNA molecules. Then you will find lysosome, which is called the lysosome. This is called lysosome. These are called the <coughs> pili. This is pili. They have to put the remain attached with the other structure during the as genetic recombination process. And these are the chromatophores. These are the chromatophores. Chromatophores found in chromatophores found in bacteria. These are the ribosomes. Ribosomes the nucleic substance. These are called it. This is what we call the cell membrane. We call the cell membrane. This is cytoplasm. This is cytoplasm. And these are chromatophores. This is ribosome. These are called the ribosomes. So this is the structure of a very simple structure of the cell. And this structure is called the prokaryotic cell because they, are, they, are, they do not show any streaming movement. So, you know, the, these type of cells are found in bacteria and the cyanobacteria and the some primitive organisms. So, this, this type of cells are called the prokaryotic cell. Now, what is the difference between uh, the structure in prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell? This is eukaryotic cell. This is plant cell, this is animal cell. Now, what are the basic differences between these two? I have described this, I have a uh, main differences are here. Now, the structural component. Now, this is called the animal cell, it is a eukaryotic cell. This is the cell membrane, this is called cell membrane. In, this is called Cell membrane. Then you will find that this is called this is a cytoplasm. This is called the cytoplasm. And this is nucleus. This is nucleus. Nucleus. The nucleus has four components. This is called nuclear membrane. Then you will find the nucleoplasm. Then it is called the nucleolus. Then you will find the nuclear material, which is called the chromatin material. These four components are there. Which I am, and there is a, uh, if you call this, this is called chromatin material. I am this is called chromatin material, this is, or you can call the chromosome later, chromatin material. This is the nucleolus, this is called nucleolus, this is called the nucleoplasm, this is called the nucleoplasm, and this is nuclear core, this is nuclear, nuclear core. This is the structure of the nucleus, and in, in eukaryotic cell, Particularly in animal cell, nucleus is located in the center of the cell. Now, from this nuclear membrane, we will find the two important structure, what is called the uh, endoplasmic reticulum. This is called endoplasmic reticulum. This is also endoplasmic reticulum. This is rough called endoplasmic reticulum. Rough part of the cells, it contains the ribosome called surface of endoplasmic reticulum. That's why it is called RER in short, or rough endoplasmic reticulum. And this is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or in short, it is called SER. So you can put it here, it is called, it is called it SER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is called rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER. Besides that, this is called Golgi complex. Golgi complex. Golgi complex. Golgi complex in, in animal cell, in, 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 in cell structure. 
This is called mitochondria. This is called mitochondria. This is one of the this is called powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria is an important structure. It is double membrane bound structure. Then you will find this is called lysosome. In human cell, you will find the lysosome. This is called lysosome. Then you will find this is called vacuum. This is called vacuum. Vacuum is small vacuums are found in animal cell. Sometimes it is success, sometimes you will find they are present also. Besides, these are called ribosomes. You will find the ribosomes, these are the structures, ribosomes. So, this is the different structure and component which is similar organelles which are found inside the animal cell. Now, in plant cell, what is the basic difference between plant cell and animal cell? In plant cell, you will find first which is called cell wall, which is absent in animal cell. Cell wall is present in plant cell, cell wall is absent in animal cell. Cell membranes are present in both the cells. You will find the Golgi complex, which is found in plant cells, also in animal cells, but in plant cells it is called dictyosome. It is called dictyosome. And in plant cells, you will find the nucleus in the peripheral region, or but in animal cells, it is found in the central region. Then you will find the uh, chloroplast. Chloroplast, which is found in plant cells only, which is absent in animal cells. Chloroplast, and there is called chloroplast, which is found in plant cells. And it is absent in animal cell. Even for large vacuoles, large cell vacuoles, this is called this vacuole, large vacuole. These are found in plant cell vacuole, uh, vacuole, which is found in plant cell. And generally, most of the part of the plant cell has been occupied by the vacuoles. And these vacuoles are very small, either absent or very small in this animal cell. And mitochondria, this is called mitochondria, mitochondria. Then you will find a rough endothelial reticulum. You will find smooth, smooth endothelial reticulum. Then you will find the ribosomes, ribosomes, which are also found in animal cell, ribosome, ribosome. And what is called the chloroplast. Chloroplast I have already mentioned. So this is the important structure. And centrosome, centrosome is found in animal cell. Centrosome is found in animal cell. This is called centrosome. Uh, this is called centrosome, which is found in animal cell. This centrosome is absent in plant cell. So this is the basic difference between the plant cell and the animal cell. So again, I am there is a uh, giving you the difference between the plant cell and animal cell. In the plant cell, you will find cell wall, which is absent in animal cells. In plant cells, you will find it nucleus in the peripheral region. The animal cell is central region. In plant cell, you will find large vacuole, which is found, which is not found, or if it is found, it is very small in uh, in animal cell. The vacuoles are found in plant cell. Uh, they have and there is a chloroplast is found in plant cell, chloroplast is absent in animal cell. Then you will find them, um, it is called centrosome, which is absent in plant cell, which is present in animal cell. So, this is the basic difference between the plant cell and the animal cell. Plant cell can perform photosynthesis, animal cell cannot perform photosynthesis. So, this is the basic difference between the plant cell and animal cell. Um, after the whole, um, in the next class, in the next class, I will discuss about the function of the cell and different components of the cell. Components of the cells will cell organelles like mitochondria, Golgi bodies, like a uh, cell reticulum, uh, like in the region, lysosomes, uh, lysosomes, chloroplasts, lysosomes, the microfilaments, and, and other components of the uh, cell. But uh, uh, today, uh, up to uh, till now, this has been the um, uh, description which have uh, these descriptions of the cell I have uh, described here. With all this, today I will conclude here. Thank you.